Hello there everybody and welcome on back into Call of the Wild where today we are carrying on our Red Deer grind out here. We are trying to get ourselves all set up with the respawns, okay? So we're taking out level 6s, 7s, 8s, and maybe even a couple of 9s if we get lucky. Trying to get that Fable to come on into our map. Now, I have been grinding out on New Zealand. This is my map of choice. However, you can find it, uh, the, the grey one that is. You can find it on Hirschfelden, New Zealand, Quattro, as well as Park A. So please do feel free to hunt any map that you prefer for the Red Deer. However... We have a level 6 here right in front of us, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to start it off with a beautiful level 6. One thing that I am finding a hell of a lot of at the minute is level 7s. They seem to be all over the place, and they seem to be having racks that range from a massive level uh, 9 rack to a level 6 rack. So the level 7s seem to be a little bit all over the place at the moment, but they are a lot of fun to take on, and uh, we will go ahead and uh, probably find a couple of those today. If you guys have been watching my YouTube videos lately, you will know that I have been doing a lot of content recently regarding Call of the Wild and Farming Sim, and believe me, there is plenty more coming. We have things like the Let's Play series on Farming Sim, where we are taking on Hout Bailaron. We also have a lot of um, tutorials coming up to teach you guys that are new to the game how to do different things, as well as also Call of the Wild content coming up recently, um, including things like the, the teaser trailer reaction. However, from next week onwards, we are going to have a hell of a lot of content of me actually hunting on the brand new Mississippi Reserve Acres map. So make sure that you don't miss any of that by making sure that you subscribe before you leave the channel today so that you never miss another upload from me. While we have a lot of YouTube content coming out at the minute, there is also a hell of a lot of content that you can find over on my Twitch page. I'm streaming every single day, usually between three and seven hours, so there's plenty for you guys to come on in and check out, so make sure you head on over there, twitch.tv forward slash TV. Like I say, we do stream every single day, sometimes Call of the Wild, sometimes Farming Sim, but no matter what we are playing, there is always a good vibe in there a great group of people and I'm sure that they would be happy to welcome you guys in now obviously New Zealand is known as the nighttime map for the Red Deer however I'm still going to do my best to try and find some throughout the day here it makes for a better video if it's during the day for you guys because obviously you guys can't see anything at night um, so we are going to go ahead and move on around and try and find what we can during the day um, however we will let it run into the evening as well to give us that better chance of finding some of the nice red deer populations one of the ways in which even during the day we can go ahead and try and find some red deer is by tracking their footprints now they will leave trails everywhere that they go so sometimes it can be worthwhile going ahead and just tracking them down to get a rough idea as to where they go during the day after their early morning drink time so that is exactly what we are going to do. I'm going to keep on following these trails until I hear something or indeed see them. And then literally 10 meters after I say that, I hear the rustle of red deer sprinting off, running away from me that we now have to go ahead and try and find. Now, there is a seeker deer calling out to us. Not too interested in that one today. There is no great one seeker deer. So I don't have any interest in hunting you down. I'm on a red deer hunt, baby. And that is what we are going to be focusing up on right here. But we do actually have a Seeker Deer zone. So fair enough. Let's keep on moving here. We're on the tracks to the Seeker Deer, apparently. We are looking for the tracks of the red deer. And I believe that these are... You know, it could have it could have very well been a, uh, a group of Seeker Deer that went running off, actually. Fair enough. So no red deers on this one. But we will keep on going. And again, that is why these tracks are really useful, guys. Because it means that then, even if you do see something and you aren't too sure what it is, you can go ahead and have a look at the tracks to know if it's a red deer, seeker deer, or otherwise. Damn, we are working with some big level 7s over here. You know, some of these level 7s, I swear, should actually be level 8s. They are just huge racks on these guys. I'm going to go ahead and try and take these guys out. I did spook them slightly, which is my bad. So, here we go. Take the follow-up shot as well. Got to make sure we get them down. Oh, that one's a straight heart shot, though. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. So there we go. Another two level sevens down on our Red Deer Great One grind. Okay, and then we have the option to confirm a trophy. I can't actually see the Red Deer, but we'll go ahead and confirm that one. Oh, look at that right there. Double lung shot, level seven. Absolutely beautiful rack. 
There we go. And then there's another one just a little bit further up as we get the call there from a female. This one right here. This is our other level seven. And that one there, another gold, a slightly smaller rack. This one I feel is more of a level seven rack. If, if I see a level seven, this is what I'm expecting, you know? The level eight was more like the other one. And then obviously the level nine being a diamond, you expect it to be the huge one. But this one here is like, I'm okay with this as a level seven. So we'll go ahead and accept that one and we'll keep on moving around. I do have a couple more need zones that we are going to go ahead and uh, work our way around here as the night falls in. Obviously, on New Zealand, the red deer are known for being out and about at night. So as nightfall does come on in, we are more likely to actually find some. So we're going to move around and see what else we can find. Alrighty, and then as we come on in over here, I do believe that there is another red deer zone... Just over here. Yes, there is. We got a five medium. We got a four. We got a six. We got another five. All right, so there's nothing too impressive over here. But we may as well go ahead and take on the six. It is the biggest one in the group. So we'll go ahead and take that one on. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, hopefully that one will come back as another seven. Because the sevens do seem to be the most popular right now. So we'll go ahead and take that one on. Could be, uh, could be pretty cool, and uh, then we'll carry on. I'll probably reset time, do the early morning grind. We'll go through another day and uh, carry on resetting the, uh, the spawns here, see if we get anything lucky. So let's go ahead and do that, right? Where's this level six at? You're the level five. Uh, it's so dark. It's so dark. Is that the level six? There it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and take on this level six real quick. Now, it is bodyguarded. Right, let's see if we can get a better angle here. I should probably actually go use my night vision. All right, here we go. There we go. Now we get a better look at what's going on. So we have the level five there side on. This one here, we could go for the risky shot. We could go for a bit of a risky shot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get the M1 out. I'm going to trust my instincts here. All right, down it goes. There we go. So... If you guys go ahead and use the night vision goggles, sometimes it can just help up clearing a, uh, it can help clearing a situation up like that, um, because you get a better view of what the animals are actually doing, where they actually are in relation to each other. And then if you have the outline as well, you can go ahead and sort of figure out from where you saw them, where you need to shoot and stuff. And that's what we did right there. The level six has gone down. Hopefully it'll come back as a level seven. Okay. So we can see here that we got two decent shots off. And then that means that the animal shouldn't have gone too far. What's this one right here? That was probably just a track. We'll keep on going. Find out where it has gone down. We've got another blood splat here that we can indeed. All right, here we go. We'll turn the flashlight on. Guys, if you didn't know that already, when it's nighttime, you don't see the tracks on the floor. But if you go ahead and turn on your flashlight, then you can indeed still see the tracks. So if I turn them off here, you can see they all disappear. Turn them back on. They will reappear. So there's a little bit of a uh, tip for you guys. And uh, yeah. Oh my. Is this? Oh my. Ha. Huh. <laughs> right. Okay. Sure. Um. So, so I'm pretty sure this is a melanistic. Um. Ha. Huh. <laughs> well, fair enough. I didn't expect that. We'll take it. We'll take it. So we got a melanistic level six here. Let's go. All right. Let's try and not that it really matters. It's night time. It is. Well, goddamn. All right, so no diamond on the day yet, but we have got a melanistic. I'll take that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. My first ever melanistic red deer, by the way. Hey, that's awesome. Oh, that's, that's, that's brilliant. You know what? If that is all that we get today, then I am super happy with that. Brilliant. Well, there we go. Let's make sure we go ahead and throw that one up into the lodge right there. Wow, I didn't expect that. I Honestly, I just thought that it was the uh, the regular fur type. So that's great. <laughs> this is this is one of the disadvantages to um, to hunting at night. You can't actually see the furs that well. Um, 
But I suppose that there is then the other side of it, which is you get surprised when you turn up and there's a melanistic on the floor. Fair enough. Like I say, we'll go ahead now, we'll reset time, and uh, we'll pick up again tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what we find. Alrighty then, as we come over here, we find a early morning drinking zone for the red deer, sorry, an eating zone for the red deer, with a level 5 in it, so we may as well go ahead and take this one on. There it is. Follow it up quickly. And hopefully that one will go down. There we go. It's dropping. So we'll go ahead and pick that one up. A level five, nothing too big. It might not even make gold, but it is another one that we've taken down to work them population numbers up to try and get the respawns higher and to hopefully get us towards a beautiful diamond or even, you know, the fabled. I wouldn't complain. But um, but yeah, you know, we have to do this work. This is the uh, this is the grinding process. This is the process of taking your low level animals and trying to work them up towards the higher levels to hopefully get yourself a more favorable spawn. But you know, it, it's just it's it's part of the deal. You know, you're gonna get the level fives, the level fours, the level sixes. They they're gonna be a part of the game. Not all of them are gonna be seven, eights, and nines. Um, but we'll take them out anyway. We'll get them down, and then we'll have them come back in hopefully as they level above. And then here is the other level five, just like that. So there you go, even a bronze, because I absolutely slammed a full round of bullets into it, but that's okay. But of course, this couldn't be a video of me playing on New Zealand if we didn't come over and at least shoot some of the fallow deer. As you guys know that have seen me before, I absolutely love this lake over here on New Zealand because you just get fallow after fallow that you can just take down from every angle of the lake. Now, when I have been over here in the past, we have got ourselves a couple of diamonds, we've got ourselves a couple of rares, and this lake never disappoints, it really doesn't. So. If you guys ever want to go ahead and hunt some fallow deer, again, I say it every single time I mention this area, it's right here on the right-hand side. Get yourself a tent and a tripod in the middle of it and just go wild on it. Get yourself here for about 8.30 in the morning. They'll all start coming on in and then you can just start shooting and life is good. Life is good and you'll make plenty of cash doing it. There's another one. Even on the bad angles, you can just go ahead, put two shots in and down they go. They're super easy. It's like, it's like a knife through butter. You know, it really is. So let's go ahead and have a look around here. Any others? It doesn't look like it. So there we go. Just a very quick fallow link run. Let's carry on hunting those red deer. And just in case there was any of you wondering out there, yes, I will be picking these up. I'm just going to leave them on the floor. We're going to go around the lake and make sure that we get the money from them as well. So don't worry about that. Alrighty, well, I have been running around the map for a fair while now, and I have yet to find anything else decent. I found a lot of uh, female areas, and I've also found a couple of level 4s, but nothing really looking too big. So it seems like, at the moment, my red deer populations are not the most promising. But... We've got the melanistic in the bag, so I think that that is where we are going to leave it for this little grind right here. And I do hope you guys enjoyed seeing me take down that red deer, that beautiful red deer. Caught me completely off guard because of the night time, but it was fun to take it out nonetheless. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do go ahead and leave a comment down below of anything else you would like to see me cover regarding Call of the Wild. And I will do my best to get around to each and every one of them. But until next time, thank you so much for watching once again. Enjoy the hunt out there. Peace.